What is going on lads and welcome to this 500,000 GP squad builder. This is a little bit more expensive so if you're looking for a cheaper squad builder you don't have this much GP check out my other squad builders but this is an insane squad it's so OP you've got a lot of versatility that you can train up and max out these players very quickly when they match up with the manager that we're going to pick and yeah it's just a fun it's a fun squad to rock and you've got a bit of a bit of freedom to change it as well if you do pack a few legends or featured players you can just put them in and interchange a lot of the players there's a lot of utility players in this as well we are going to be starting off with coronado who is going to give a boost to, to players aged under 24 this is my most recommended style of manager is giving a boost to young players because they max out their potential a lot quicker we are going to be playing possession game but you can play quick counter if you choose as well so kicking off this squad we have got ramsdale who's 70,000 gp one of the most expensive players on this squad we are going to overcompensate a little bit with the goalkeeper this guy is an absolute monster he's not the tallest he's not the strongest he doesn't have the best stats in some of them but if you look at his reflexes and his reach and you also look at his jumping and you also look that he has the low punt player skill that is huge as well for 70k you could go a cheap cheap option if you wanted to save it but i think just to switch things up we are going to go for a high rated manager next up we've got one of my favorite players in the game and i think probably one of the best left backs in the game end of story is Nuno Mendes I've waxed lyrical about this guy he's been in a couple of my other videos hidden gems best left backs so on and so forth he's 34,000 GP insane insane ability he can go up the levels very very quickly to 43 levels and he starts off with 82 speed and 79 acceleration which tells you all you need to know he also has unwavering form so he'll be up more than down Next up, joining him, we've got Wambasaka. So shout out to one of the guys in the comments. He was mentioning that Wambasaka was being a little bit slept on. And to be honest, him and Tim Tamiyasu from or Tamiyasu from Arsenal are very, very similar. But Wambasaka has got insane, insane stats and insane potential if you want to train him up to be a, a complete package right back you know if you want to have a defensive minded right back especially with a 4-3-3 you don't always need to be bombing up the wings with your left and right backs wan is incredible now we're going to take a look at him and think to ourselves right if we want to turn in pure defensive we want speed and we want defense so that we're able to kind of match him up with our slower based uh cb in a minute and then leave our fast base cb over on nuna mendes's side now obviously we're going to have a look at quick counter here if we are playing that our possession game we'll need to put up more stats into possession game obviously so you'll need at least four points to be kept there but for this again you can just see the potential that this guy has very very quickly he shoots up through the speed which is incredible and you've also got a lot of other stats there as well next up we've got godfrey so obviously you know you could put timber into any squad but just to switch things up i have put in godfrey here you can swap him out with timber if you want i've covered timber in the old uh, videos as well with the 350,000 squad which you know is very interchangeable but Godfrey is actually a player that's kind of been a little bit slept on he doesn't have as many player skills as Timber but stat wise and he's under 20 under 24 as well he is an unbelievable player as your fast center back and then your big strong central defender the spine of the team that you're going to pair with Wambasaka on the other side is going to be Badiashili Badiashile so he has been a player that has been on my hidden gems. He is unbelievable stats. He's only 18,000 GP, 73 overall, 194 CM, 20 years of age. He's got man marking, heading, interception, and aerial superiority. That's all we want him for is in the air and taking on that challenge if you're coming up against a tall player like Ronaldo or someone like that. He's an absolute monster. Now, this was a big choice, right? And we're going to get into this at the end of the video. So for everybody that's going to be complaining that Graven Birch isn't in here because I know Graven Birch is, a, is an absolute unit, I have picked Barrios. So Barrios, I've come up against him a couple of times, lads. He plays so much way better above his stats. He's always been an absolute unit in E football and pez games and I, this this is no different he's 78 overall anchorman unwavering form and we're going to have a look at him here for 51,000 gp i think what you can train him into is incredible this guy also can double up as a right back or a cb so i think that that's where gravenberch lets you down a small bit i know obviously we can have a look at gravenberch at the end but if you take a look at what this guy can progress into and what he can be trained into it's it's pretty pretty incredible you could you could turn this guy into like your fast center back instead of godfrey you know and, and then have a and a more expensive dmf or you could change him with godfrey and have grab and birch if you so pleased um if you have a few extra bit of coinage next up we've got bellingham right fifty eight thousand gp 
this guy is going to be our architect. This guy is going to be our Tom Brady, putting the passes, linking the defense to attack, linking all the passes, the dribbles. He's got 47 levels to go. He's got all the player skills coming out that you would want for a CMF. We're going to be playing him as kind of like a, a defensive-minded CMF, box to box. That's how exactly we're going to utilize him. He's got a really nice engine for that. And he's got a lot of the skills that you would want for that role. Now, a bit of a, a strange choice as well, Brahim Diaz. Again, this guy has been praised in the comments of the video. So keep the recommendations coming in, lads, when I check out these players. Because it's always good to cast a fresh eye on them and look at their stats and what they can be, you know, potentially boosted into. Especially over on eFootballDB.com that you can easily simulate what their stats can turn into in different positions, different ways. This guy, 43,000. He's not the tallest. He's not the fastest. But he's got unbelievable dribbling and ability on the ball, which is why we want him. We're going to pair him up then with our wingers, Hudson Adoy from Chelsea, 29K. We're going a bit cheap on the wingers because obviously to stay under budget. If you have got, you know, an extra 50 or 60K, you can make this squad even better, obviously, or you do pack a couple of the legends like Salah. If you are spinning for coins, you get a couple of the pre-campaign stuff if you've played V0.9. But Hudson Adai, 82 speed, 84 acceleration, and all the tricks that you could possibly want. And this guy, Baku, who played for Wolfsburg. So we know about Baku's teammate, Babu, who plays Mabu, who plays right back. This guy is playing on the right wing. He's 23 years of age. A form at the moment, he's got unwavering form as well, so his player arrow will be up all the time for the next couple of weeks, next couple of days, I should say. And also his speed is quite high, his dribbling is quite high, his low passing is quite high, and he just is obviously down as an offensive full back. So you could pretty much swap him out and do what you want to do if you are struggling right back as well for that little bit of pace. Now, next up we have got Alvarez, right? So Julian Alvarez, obviously, we know that he's he's on loan with River Plate from City. He's going to be a city player. And this guy is incredible in the game. So his stats don't tell the whole story here. Because if you look at him here, he, does ha he doesn't have the best stats, 69 speed. This guy is like a traditional old school kind of scorer of the ball. He just is able to finish from anywhere. And his play is way above his stats. He's kind of one of those special Pez players that has followed through. Now, we're going to take a look at Alvarez here and what he can turn into. And again, you're not going to be blown away by his stats. Like, you're not going to be absolutely blown away. Obviously, keep a couple of the progression points for whichever formation, whichever team play style you decide to go. I would potentially go with possession game here and play kind of like a possession-based 4-3-3 with manual quick counters rather than having the team set as quick counter. But this is what the final squad looks like, lads. 480,000 GP. We've got all our players in and ready to rock and roll. We've got 11,000 under budget as well. Now, I am, because I like to give you options, because you guys have so much recommendations, I'm going to give you two quick switches that you can make if you want to just switch this team up to be a little bit more attack based on the ball and a bit more aggressive up front to give you a few more options. Because Alvarez is not, he isn't really an aerial threat. But this does give you an aerial tread if you choose these players. So we're going to swap Graven Birch if you want to potentially uh, in for Barrios. So Barrios is obviously going to come out and that's going to give us, you know, about 10 grand or maybe 12 grand back on our GP. And Graven Birch is obviously a unit. And then we're going to put in Malon in Melon, Malon in, instead of Alvarez. And that obviously still comes under budget. I think we're right up at the cusp of our 500,000 GP, which we'll see here in a second. But both those players are, are, I won't say that they're upgrades, but they're just a different style. You know, they're a different style of player. So that is what that squad looks like, 498,000 total GP in that. So there are two very quick, very easy options if you wanted to change things around. You obviously could make a different change. You could bring out Godfrey and put in Timber. You could swap one Basaka with Tamiyasu. There's a lot of things that you could do with this squad. But yeah, that is it for the 500,000 GP squad builder, lads. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your recommendations again for another one, and I will talk to you later. Peace.